Hi, I'm Chris with Octane Trailers. I'd like to take a few minutes to uh, give you a quick walk around our new 2017 Fuel Octane Fuel Series bike hauler and tell you about uh, some of the things that come standard on the trailer itself and then uh, let you know what, what's great about our quality and some of the things that we do here. <clears throat> Let's start with the construction of the trailer. Two by five double hollow, triple tongue tube. Comes with a two and five sixteenths A-frame coupler, zinc coated. It also has a 2,000 pound top wine zinc coated jack. <clears throat> 24 inch ATP stone guard. <clears throat> this is also <clears throat> our flat front cast corner bullnose style bike collar. It has uh, bright anodized vertical corners, bright anodized top wrap with our cast corners. 030 bonded screwless exterior. We use uh, uh, 3M VHB double sided tape on the wall studs and then we use a uh, two part epoxy called Cicaflex which we use on, this, on the seams. It's a uh, pretty superior product, uh, pretty much used in the uh, car industry. <clears throat> It also has three inch top and bottom trim. As you can see here, it has a uh, cast aluminum door hole back. <clears throat> it also has a 400 series side door, RV style side door with continuous hinge, RV style flush uh, re uh, recess flush lock. It also has 3,500 pound spring axles on this model. This is kind of our entry level piece that uh, you can go from spring axles and upgrade to torsion. Comes with four wheel brakes, <clears throat> tandem teardrop fender. Now these are our new style and actually they're only offered for a limited time. This is a uh, blue anodized new aluminum wheel we've got. We thought we'd try it out, it's pretty sweet. Um, it's something that, uh, like I say, once again, it's only going to be for a limited time, but it's pretty cool. We also have, uh, <clears throat> like I said, once again, all LED clearance and tail lights as well. Three inch trim at the back. We put, decided to put a 45 on the corners. You can see that um, all the miters are tight, the fit and finish. I mean, that's something that we take a great deal of pride in. So you can expect every time you get a trailer, that's the way it's going to look. We've got two flow through vents come standard on this unit. <clears throat> Three inch top trim in the back. Third brake light, LED as well. Slimline tail lights. This is also upgraded to uh, aluminum bar locks with stainless hasp assembly. Three ramp door hinges on our, all the seven wide trailers. Um, usually we do three hinges on a six wide eight and a half wide version we always do four it also has grease circs in each one of them and they're fully welded <clears throat> three ramp door and bumpers t-mold 45 degree corners nice and tight miters it also has aluminum grab bar handles spring assisted rear ramp door <clears throat> All aluminum cable bracket, which we weld on. We don't screw them. Screw breaks. It uh, could cause a lot of havoc. Dangerous. <clears throat> on this unit, we actually upgraded. Normally, you'll get uh, our black, or I'm, I'm sorry, you'll normally get our Advantech flooring. That's what we use as a standard, but this has got a ATP covering over it. <clears throat> with a ATP ramp and flap, or I'm sorry, flap. Aluminum recess style hinge. <clears throat> we also use a, uh, what they call a sex bolt, so you don't have any exposed nuts. Keeps it more of a low profile design, but yet we actually through bolt them, so you've got superior strength. <clears throat> and actually the hinge is underneath of the flap. So when you put the weight on it, it's not going to actually pull away. A lot of people put the continuous hinge on the top of the flap and door itself. 
and there's no structure, so it's not going to stay. <clears throat> One of the cool things with this trailer is we actually upgraded to the uh, black vinyl walls and ceiling. And uh, it's kind of cool. It's a different look. It's dark, but yet it's not your typical white. It also has a, uh, we upgraded to uh, black rubber coin flooring. And in the uh, bike collar, it comes standard with eight recessed D-rings and two removable wheel chocks. We usually ship them loose. It allows the customer to put them in their specific location. I'm going to walk inside and kind of give you an idea of what the inside looks like. Anytime we put a ceiling in, you'll get the uh, corner cove, which we put in. The nice thing about that is you can remove it in the field if you ever have an issue with the wiring, which obviously we hope you don't. Um, you can access it. Some of the competitors run it through roof bows, and you actually have to pull the ceiling and ceiling down to access it. So this is kind of a nice feature where it gives it a good look, but yet it's accessible in the future. Uh, ramp door or ramp spring cover. We trim it out with uh, bus trim. Nice clean look. <clears throat> we also upgraded this to the uh, four foot LED strip lights, which really they're they're bright. It's way to go. I mean, to get rid of the old standard incandescent dome light, those aren't really the greatest for light. These really these things really light the trailer up pretty good. So, as you can see, the cove runs down through the side of the trailer, comes to the front. <clears throat> You got the cover where the uh, front top wrap goes, and then the vertical corners. <clears throat> you can see the miters, nice tight fit. Dustin does a phenomenal job on that stuff. This is the inside of the vent, the plastic throw flow through vent. That's what it looks like on the inside. <clears throat> One of the other things that we do is we don't um, put the junction box out on the tongue. The biggest issue I've found that we, you know, people either hit it or knock it off, and after a period of time, it's laying on the ground. We actually run our, our uh, subway cord in the tongue. Obviously, it's got grommets where the cord runs through the tube and then runs back and kicks up. What we do is we use our breakaway battery as a junction box. <clears throat> as you can see, if you ever need to access any of your wiring, you just pull the lid up and you access it right there. Like I say, once again, the biggest thing is. It's inside the trailer and it's out of the weather, so you don't have to worry about it in the future. Um, and while we're talking about the wiring, a lot of the, th the, the main thing that we do is we actually run all the wiring up the post and actually up in the uh, corners. Once again, so if you ever have to access it, you can run straight down the side of the trailer and ties in at the back for your rear lights. So <clears throat> out of the weather, you don't have to worry about wires hanging on the ground. We don't have any wiring exposed. It runs inside the tongue, it kicks out, comes up into the junction box, and then actually goes back in the mainframe and kicks out where <clears throat> your brake axles are. Um, this is a spring axle trailer, so in that particular case, uh, it comes pre-wired. They actually run the wire through the beam and it picks up on your curb side and is already pre-wired. So basically all we do is tie in at your left side or your roadside brakes. Um, but like I say, the biggest thing is, Wiring's inside. It's not exposed to the weather. I mean, these are some of the details that we we take great deal of pride in. Um, you don't have to worry about your wires hanging down. Once again, you don't have to be worried about being caught alongside the road or your, your lights don't work. So, some of the other things that we do too <clears throat> really cleans it up. On all of our trailers, we use a uh, J rail at the bottom, and that trims it out. You don't see a bunch of screws down there. Um, up the door post, same thing, J rail. And in this particular situation where it's got the black vinyl, we use black screws. So, black divider bar where the panels tie together, uh, 5,000 pound recessed D rings. And it, along with those, uh, we weld an actual backer in the, underneath the floor in between each cross member. Um, we actually weld a plate in, we bolt it to that. So, you've got superior strength and it is rated up to 5,000 pounds per D ring. So, <clears throat> one of the things I didn't mention. Um, is basically our structure. That's a huge part of what we do. Um, this particular trailer has 69 center wall studs, inch by inch and a half. Top rails one by three. Um, a lot of our competitors use one by one, and they use an inch, inch by inch and a half top rail um, and one by one roof bowls. Um, we definitely will not build anything like that. Uh, structure is a big part of what we do, and 
<clears throat> if you buy a trailer, you want to buy it for long term and not have to worry about it falling apart. Well, like I say, one by three top rail. And this particular model has inch by inch and a half roof bows, 16 on center. Um, cross members are two, to, two foot on center in this particular deal. Uh, two by three, two by five mainframe double hollow. Same as the tongue like we mentioned earlier. So those are some of the structure things that we talk about. Uh, two inch ramp door, <clears throat> basically less than 16 on center um, on the uprights. All the corners are 45 so you don't have any open tubes. You don't have caps. Um, it's finished off nice. You can see where the corners are. <clears throat> One of the other things on the inside too, we always use, we use a 12 volt switch, but it's it's black. Kind of goes with the decor of the trailer. The trim door is trimmed out on the inside with angle. You can see see the miter. Nice and tight. <clears throat> you don't see a bunch of gaps. I mean, it's another thing we take pride in. Quality of the build. I mean, when you spend the money that you're going to spend, obviously you want something that's going to look nice, but yet it's functional. It's going to last a long term, and that's kind of what we take a great deal of pride in as well. So you can see the trim. We use cove on the step well. The corners are radiused. We don't just chop it in a, in a chop saw and just leave a rough square cut. So... Those are little details that, you know, when you look at some of our competitors in this price bracket and you say, well, what's different about your trailer? Um, well, these are some of the things that we take pride in and uh, you can now see the difference. You know, we, we do run a production, but it's a small group of guys that take a great deal of pride in what they do. And um, we're not just focused on big numbers and how many we can get out the door. And, um, you know, obviously we take we take pride in what we build. We want to build a good name and something we can go home at night and be proud of and not have to worry about falling apart and having, having issues in the long term. So, Once again, uh, Chris with Octane Trailers, I appreciate you guys taking a look at our video. Um, hopefully this answers a lot of questions. With our model, it's a 7x16 Fuel SS. It's got a bullnose cap, <clears throat> all aluminum. Once again, thank you.